shall I order for you? <clears throat> sure, if you want to. I had uh, hoped a change might be good for you. You haven't been out of your house since the night I found you in Lucky's room. But if you prefer, we'll leave. It, it doesn't matter, really. Yeah. Then I don't think I'm going to be much of a dinner companion. Excuse me. I don't want to intrude, but uh, I didn't get a chance to speak to you the other day. I wanted to extend my condolences on the loss of your son. Thank you. I also wanted to let Mr. Cassidy know that uh, at least one of his worries is over. I'm officially withdrawing as a contender for the Cassidyne spoils. It seems to lay the stakes turned out a little higher than I anticipated. Which stakes are you referring to? Well, I don't know if there's a nice way to put this, but... Your mother tried to kill me and make it look like an accident. Now, I don't mind taking chances, but if I'm going to bet my life, the payoff better be worth it. Your family's fortune isn't. Once again, I apologize for the interruption. Helena, she did it. She's the one who killed Lucky. Cesar, Faison. Clearly you heard of me. I'm flattered. And what I heard was you were dead. Death has sometimes proved to be an illusion. Mine was, so was yours. You heard him. Helena tried to make it look like an accident. Laura, Mr. Jack's difficulties with my mother have nothing to do with Lucky's death. But that's how she does it. She, she tried to make it look like an accident when she tried to kill my mother. Oh, my God. No, this is not. Helena hates me. She blames me for her son's death. She knows that the only thing that really mattered to me are my children and keeping them safe. She did this. She killed my son as revenge. The arson report was definitive. The fire started on Lucky's bedside table. He'd left candles burning. She made he concentrated it look like that. Heat. She made it look like that. You know her. Yes, yes, I know her. I know her better than anyone. If Elena killed Lucky, she would want you to know about it. She would tell you about it, as she did when she claimed to have killed your mother. Or she would have left her mark as she did when she killed Alexis's mother. She knows that Luke would kill her. It's unfortunate you had to miss your memorial service. It was quite heartbreaking, though tastefully done. Would that be your mother's touch? If there really was a memorial service, my parents were just playing along. It's gaming until they figure out a way how to find me. They don't believe I'm dead. My mom has a sense about these things. Such perceptions are possible. However, it takes a little more than a sense to deny the realities of a burned body beyond recognition, a dental match, DNA match. Do you know what? It took me a lot of work to replace your medical records. But the results have been absolutely gratifying. You did, Lucky. Dead. As dead as I ever was. You said... You said burnt. I don't know it was arson. 
Do you take me for an amateur? Do you? Let me tell you something. You're the one who started the fire. You left some candles unattended. The arson report was quite clear about that. Those candles were to blame. Yeah. Well, I believe it was your girlfriend who... You bastard! So I see you are impulsive like your dad. It's not always a good trait. Whatever you think you know about my father. I don't think! I've been doing business with your daddy for quite some time now. He sells me diamonds. And I've referred him to an excellent tobacconist. I'm sure you've been seeing him smoking. The special blend I've recommended. Luke knows me. And he suspects nothing! You're exhausted. I'm sorry. I know you've been so nice trying to understand and... But you can't, really. Luke found a way to move on. I don't know how he did it. Shall we go? So, I believe I've outlined your situation in a way so even you understand. You won't escape. Well, maybe not the first time. Or the time after that. But I'll make it eventually. There's no way you're keeping me here. I'd hope it wouldn't come to this. Maybe not the first time, maybe not the second time. What are you talking about? Is that a threat? So uncivilized. Since you insist. I believe you know the young lady. It's heartbreaking. So sad, so young. And it would be even sadder if such youth, such beauty, such potential were to be snuffed out just because you're too stubborn to cooperate. Bloom of young love, cut tragically short. A few sides are more depressing. How much more satisfying, really, and easy on everyone to let our Juliet follow her Romeo to the grave? No. No one will look beyond her grief on explanation. When was that taken? Where is she? You won't get anything from me until I have proof Elizabeth is okay. I'm not made of stone. I was young and besotted with love once. Her name was... Yeah. There'll be time for telling stories for becoming each other's best friend. The day's not far off where the sight of my face and the sound of my voice will be like water in the desert to you. And you, Elizabeth, she'll be perfectly safe and remain so as long as you're here. Why should I believe you? What do you mean I'll get nothing from you? This is about my dad, right? I mean, that's why I'm here. 
So it is true. You Spencers really do believe the world revolves around you. This one I don't think you'll throw. You're not hallucinating. Your favorite meal, prepared by Eli. Do you understand now that I want you to be happy here? Just reheated. Mm -hmm. Must have traveled some distance, huh? Now, our location is not for you to know. So why torment yourself? Bon appetit. trouble I went to for you. Disappointing. Very disappointing. please it's me it's lucky I i'm alive I, I just i can't talk very loud right now okay this this guy phase on he's hello no, please listen to me I, I might not get another chance she can't hear you is anyone there elizabeth i'm alive i love you okay hello i love you a answer me Answer me! Isn't that what you wanted? Dad, I want to go with you. Well, I know you do, partner. Believe me, I'd love to have you as a backup on this game. But there's only one problem. What's that? Okay, now listen carefully. You're too valuable an asset.
Spencer. Luke? It's me. Um, I wanted you to know that I started boxing up Lucky's things. I wanted to know if there's anything you wanted me to save. Uh, maybe I better come and take a look. Would you? Maybe I better. Thank you, Luke. I didn't put anything away yet. I, uh, I was waiting for you. Where's Lulu? My mom took her to the park. She doesn't understand Luke. She still thinks that he's going to come and visit her. So do I. You want to start? Sure. I'll get that. I'm sorry that not everything is here, but you know... I know. Well, there's plenty of stuff here. Plenty. Can we get started? Okay. first winter we moved here. You know what he told me? He said somebody had to be way cool to get away with wearing that hat. Cowboy got away with a lot. He was way cool. You know, it just doesn't seem that long ago that we moved here and we told him we could pick out any room he wanted. Yeah, you know why he picked this room? A tree. He knew he could use that tree to escape and re-enter the house after curfew and we wouldn't be the wiser. I knew. I was always worried that he might... I taught him to run cons, I taught him to fake IDs, I taught him to live in the street. How the hell did I miss teaching him not to sleep with candles burning? It's so stupid!
Look at all this stuff. What are we going to do with it? You know, Bobby said that it's going to be important to us one day, but she's wrong. This is just crap. This is not my son. My son is dead. You were right to trash this room because it's all garbage, babe. It's all garbage. It's just, this is just garbage. No, Luke, no, Luke, don't do it. Don't, don't. Oh, you no, you can't this. do this. Eat that. I can do don't. that. No. He doesn't need these anymore. Doesn't need that. He doesn't need those. And he doesn't. He doesn't need this. Stefan. Come in. else is gone. Luke threw it out the window and then he packed it all up and he took it to the dump. Well, I, I could arrange to have it all retrieved. No. No, no. I, I came down the stairs and I went outside and I saw my little boy's entire childhood strewn all over the front yard. Except for this. I wouldn't let him take this. You know, Lucky used to make a Ford out of this when he was a little kid. We've had it with us all these years and you know, I even made it back to poor Charles with us. Did I ever tell you that Lucky made it all the way across the country on his own when he was only 10 years old? Really? Oh, he was amazing. He was, he was amazing. He could have been anything. <laughs> your guard down. That's what happened. You were always so smart. Always so cool. What happened? I mean, cowboy, you... You dodged bullets, you hopped trains. And then you're done in by a couple of candles. Was I so busy I didn't teach you to blow the candles out before? Before you went to sleep? It's so stupid! It's so stupid! It's careless! You were careless! Nobody was covering your back! And I've told you about that! I told you a hundred times! You knew better! 
You know something? I'll do a little better next time. Trust you've been amusing yourself? Count your blessings, Master Spencer. You could be sitting on a straw mat, watching water drip down a brick wall. Man, you've seen too many old movies. I've seen a lot. You know when the, uh, the old Prisoner of Zenda ones? Mm hmm Prisoner marks the the days on the wall. If I were bored enough to get into that and your little plan worked out, how much wall space would you estimate? You don't want to know. Try me. Too much information can be destructive. Your unfortunate parents, for instance. What about them? Oh, I could come up with a detailed account of their anguish, but I don't want to depress you. Such a sensitive guy. Yeah, I experience a range of human emotions from here to there, but unlike your dad, I keep mine private. My dad's as private as they come. Yeah, I suppose at one time. But your death has broken him. I doubt that. Well, how else to explain his bizarre behavior? Your mother's neighbors were aghast. But I suppose, in a way, it was heart-rending, but also very violent. You know, whatever this is, <laughs> I'm sure it's a lie, but uh, I can see you're dying to tell me, so why don't you just do it? Sorting through a loved one's belongings, deciding what to keep, this or that, that's a hard task, believe me. But I've never seen a reaction like your father's. Which was? Well, the poor man plunged into a... Uh, Frenchy, hurling your possessions out of a second-story window into the yard. You, you know, the, the front corner window on the right. Your room, I suppose. Computers, vintage comic strips. The funny old tad. Yeah, the funny old tad. What do you Americans call it, huh? A coonskin cab? From the old frontier? It's fine. Mm -hmm. Remnants of your boyhood. Going into the yard one by one, splitting, <sighs> crashing, scattering. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Your father finally gathered the muddy remains and took them to the dump. I appreciate the report. Mm. Yeah, I told you it would be painful. I'm not that delicate. No? Perhaps I underestimated you. Perhaps I should be honest in, in all things. Huh? Let it rip. Come on. Go for it. That wall marking you talked about. You know, counting the days till you'll be free.
Mm -hmm. Forget it. It's a waste of time in your case. Waste of time. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see you'll never get out of this room alive. That's what we will see.